In an effort to enhance traveling in Canada, the federal government's Transportation 2030 Strategic Plan has committed to creating a modern, efficient transportation system that supports economic growth and the middle class. This short video will assess the potential for a high-frequency passenger rail service in the Windsor to Quebec City corridor. This corridor is home to Canada's two largest metropolitan areas and about half of the country's total population, around 18 million people. Via Rail, Canada's passenger rail provider, notes that around 90% of their riders are within this stretch of southern Ontario and Quebec. Presently, Via Rail's trains use tracks that belong to freight companies like CP and CN Rail, whose freight cars have priority on the tracks. This creates bottlenecks that slow down Via's passenger trains. As a result, travel times are longer today than they were 50 years ago, and the service is less reliable. Via Rail has proposed a four-year, $4 billion upgrade to electrify the Windsor to Quebec City corridor and create a dedicated railway for their passenger trains. This system is expected to become self-funded, leading to an elimination of the annual $150 million subsidy from the Government of Canada. As well, this is projected to reduce congestion on highways by an equivalent of 5 million car trips a year. With the new system, V-Rail predicts a tripling in ridership levels from 2.1 million today to over 6 million once the system is established. But where are all these new riders going to come from? The introduction of a high-frequency system would make rail much more competitive with cars and air travel for intercity trips in the corridor. By comparing the travel times of different modes between some of the major cities in the corridor, a high-frequency train service would create an efficient alternative to car travel. Air travel is still fastest, but lacks the advantages of train travel, such as stations that connect to city centers, productive travel time with Wi-Fi, and greater reliability in inclement weather. The electrification of the train fleet would also make training by far the most environmentally conscious travel choice. By comparing the CO2 emissions in grams per passenger, train travel presents itself as the lowest emission modal choice, which is important when considering the upcoming constraints travelers will feel as a result of the federal carbon tax. With these points in mind, the following recommendations to the Government of Canada are made. To facilitate public-private partnerships between Via Rail and funding partners to generate the $4 billion needed for the high-frequency service upgrade. Apply improvements to the corridor incrementally starting with the creation of dedicated tracks and provide discounted ticket prices once the high-frequency corridor is constructed to encourage more Canadians to use the service.